What's up, Samurai? We are back in this morning. Excuse me for this video being so late. I've been sleeping in. I've been going to the gym every day once again, getting getting pumped. But uh, on top of that, I've also just been awake during the goblin hours. And I think yesterday I made a big, big mistake by going outside without a toucan. And so uh, I think I got a cold. <laughs> Curse you, immune system. So anyways... Uh, you don't care about that. Today, we're going to be talking about the Gunslinger because that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The devs are actually listening to us because if you recall, uh, the last developer live stream, they ended up having a question about like, why aren't you guys working on the Gunslinger next? Why isn't that the next class that's getting a rework? And the devs basically just kind of sh brushed it off saying, oh, the Gunslinger is already fine. And every player just kind of like face palmed right then and there because it was like devs no the gunslinger is weak the gunslinger is not what it once was especially compared to all of these new powerhouse classes that we've got in the game however uh despite them saying that it seems like they have secretly been working on the gunslinger anyways the funny thing is though this is not going to end up being a super crazy overhaul that makes the class like really freaking cool like oh my god all of its abilities are changed Nah, it's just number changes for the abilities, unfortunately. And although I will read through the patch notes that specifically talks about the changes that happened to the Gunslinger, I do gotta let you guys know that unfortunately, uh, the devs have a bad habit of putting up their test server patch notes without having the original version of the class for comparison. So, for example, it just says like, basic attack does 140 magic damage and it's like well without knowing what the base value of that is on the live server how do i know how significant the change is like it could be that on the live server we deal 100 percent magic damage or maybe it's just not changed at all and it's just 140 magic damage right so i am taking it upon myself today so that we can end up uh, going into U11 with my Gunslinger completely maxed out, where I'm going to trial out the Gunslinger in U11 right now, show you guys some quick damage numbers, and then we'll hop on over to the test server and do the exact same thing. A couple things to keep in mind. I, of course, don't have my Gunslinger completely maxed out. Uh, most of all, the class gem is still lacking, but everything else is a max set of gems, uh, and I do have C4 across the board. Let me also do this. Um, the other thing that you do gotta keep in mind is that our passive stats are going to be quite high on the live server because unfortunately, I don't actually have a club world with all of these fixtures on the test server. So, long story short, it means that our damage comparison is not ideal. I hope that we notice the gunslinger is stronger than my current one because then that means when the live server ends up getting the update the gunslinger will be significantly stronger just because of those club fixtures our base attack is doing 1.6 and i did see 2.0 1.6 to and 2.0 seems to be the average 4.2 when a flask pops and 5.9 mil i saw as well so our charge attack is going to end up being the big thing that had the main difference, uh, which you can see does 4.1 mil, and then it was like, what was that, 3.8? Yeah, 4.1, 3.8, 4.1, 3.8. We could also spam our charge attack for 2.1 or 5.2 with arcane triggered. Uh, so let's actually let him tag me, because I want to see what the uh, charge shot is going to end up doing with, uh, like, fully charged shot okay so that actually did 10 mil and then like 9 mil or something so that's not bad oh my god this game has lag dude and then last but not least i mean we could do a damage comparison of that the jump whatever 7 mil or 19 mil not bad a little bit more significant than i thought it would be but um next is going to obviously be the damage comparison of our ultimate ability when we have uh when we have our class gem let me see if i can find there's another one i don't want to aggro any of these other enemies whoops but let's see so our base value attack is going to end up doing if it would ever register 3.8 4.5 pop a flask now it's doing 13 to 11 mil i see that okay 
So let's uh, hop on the test server and do a quick comparison. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that we're actually still on the live server because unfortunately I can't get on the test server for the life of me. I think it's offline. Maybe they're getting ready for a patch already or something because that's the thing is all of these numbers and all these comparisons that we're talking about is all subject to change until it ends up actually going out live. Now, I'm going to guesstimate that the update is going to end up aiming for March just because that's usually what happens. The update itself is not particularly big other than just changing a couple damage numbers and so on. So hopefully that means that we'll actually see this update go live for PC and consoles in March. Fingers crossed. But anyways, I wanted to end up going through a little bit of the patch notes here before I tell you guys the damage comparisons because thankfully I did do a live stream on the test server the other day. And so I just siphoned through that to uh, get our damage number comparisons. So they say that for this revamp, we wanted to improve the abilities of the gunslinger that were lacking and allow for a more flexible kit while keeping with its core gameplay. Usually when they say flexible kit, they don't mean that in its actual terminology of, okay, the variation of where this character fits in the game is a lot better. No, they're talking about being able to use all of your abilities, which you kind of can, like they did do a good job with that, but Anyways, it goes on to say, our focus was to improve the charge shot's effectiveness in addition to making the slow fall easier to maneuver. Now, the charge shot is significantly better and the slow fall is also significantly better because if you've gone into the water world since the recent updates, the water physics are... I don't like them. You slow fall like way... It, you have way less control, but generally speaking you fall a lot slower. Uh, more or less, what I'm saying is you have less control trying to navigate dungeons because you're slowly falling all the time, but you actually have much, much better control of your character while you're falling. And they actually are implementing that slow fall from underwater to the Gunslinger's number one ability. One of my favorite additions is they've changed it so that when you are slow falling, if our club world would stop being a broken mess, you can actually uh, just do a dodge and that will actually get you out of the slow fall. So that's a very nice change. Anyways, they go on to say that charge shot has been upgraded into sniper shot. Uh, it has its charge time reduced, which yes, it's significant increased damage it also applies a debuff to enemies and with a fully charged shot it will end up dealing additional damage to targets that are below 35 percent hp uh with uh, additional abilities have been adjusted to account for this so just to briefly mention that the charge shot says additionally applies a debuff that increases damage done to the target by five percent for five seconds so that could actually be where the gunslinger fits in is that little debuff because that would end up being quite significant for solarians and stuff like that and on top of that we could possibly see somebody being gunslinger someone being solarian you're fighting a leviathan and then as soon as that leviathan gets a 35 percent hp the gunslinger's damage would kick in and just just melt it but I, I can't really test all that stuff because of the fact that the test server and the live server are so significantly different because of the lack of fixtures. Now, anyways, so in the live server, we were doing about like two mil with our base attack with a flask. We were doing 2.4 on the test server. Our base attack with a flask was doing about 4.2 mil. And on the test server, it was 4.1, keeping in mind that that would end up being a, a lot higher if we ended up having the fixtures. So that ability seems like it didn't really change too, too much. The charge shot, however, is a huge increase because it's going to end up being a, a, a base value of 4.1 mil with a flask giving us 10 mil damage. And the base value on the test server was 5 mil. And then with a flask, we actually hit as high as 41 mil. So that is a huge, huge change. Uh, our number one ability, unfortunately, I didn't get a damage comparison with a flask. So the base value was 7 mil, and then on the test server, we were doing 8 mil. So that attack is also going to end up being significantly higher once we have fixtures. And then the ultimate, which is going to be the main brunt of it that everyone's going to be interested in. So our base value on the live server was 3.8 to 4.5 mil. And on the test server, we were hitting as high as 4 mil to 7 mil. And then with a flask, we were dealing like 13 to 11 mil with our charge shot ultimate ability. And with a flask on the test server, we were dealing 17 
mill. Again, I just, I, I got to reiterate the fact that we didn't have the fixtures and almost all of the abilities across the board were significantly higher. Some of them not so much, but still, that is a very, very welcome change, my dude. Like, I, the only thing that I would say out of my testing of the class that was still lacking uh, is that damage numbers weren't comparative to the Solarian. Again, this could just be because of the fixtures, and there is a lot of opportunity for the class to grow on the test server. Uh, but my biggest gripe with it was the lack of movement speed. We still ended up having a character that could not really navigate dungeons and the world very much. However, uh, it does mention that run and gun, which is the gunslinger's ult without a class gem ability, uh, increases your movement speed by 20 and attack speed by 75% and allows the gunslinger to run full speed while attacking. So I don't know if that's what the base alt is of the gunslinger because it's honestly been years since I haven't used the class gem. But my point is that if there's anything about that that is different, that already sounds like you could be a speed farmer without the class gem ability on the gunslinger, which would be one of the first classes in the game that actually has a benefit slash problem when it ends up actually using its class gem. So it might actually be a, a class that you would end up building differently if you wanted to end up having it as a, a speedy character. But anyways, those are my two cents towards it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you ended up testing out uh, the class on the test server. What is your feedback? I'd be curious to see the general consensus of that. Uh, almost everybody when I was doing the testing on the test server was saying that they were very uh, underwhelmed and I was as well but that was because on that stream it took me like 28 minutes to realize I had the wrong gems on <laughs> so yeah that's a bit embarrassing but anyways uh, you guys corrected me on the uh, live chat so that was nice anyways thanks for watching smash like stuff for more by the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day everybody